Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Studios here and welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a movie review on Scream 3. So Scream 3 is the third installment in the Scream franchise and came out in the year 2000 and is directed by, well, Wes Craven and stars Nev Campbell, Courtney Co Cox, David Arquette, Liv, Liv Schreiber, I don't know if I pronounced his name right, uh, um, Patrick Dempsey, um, and Scott Foley and a bunch of others and also Carrie Fisher as a cameo basically the plot for Scream 3 um, t tells a story of uh, Sydney who was pretty much uh, isolated herself away from everyone and now she uh, works as a counselor or a call center agent I think either one of those um, and, um, and and then you know um, there's a new screen, a style film in production uh, which is Stab 3 uh, which uh, um, is it, it, the um, the directorial debut um of a new um a, a new character Roman Bridger who's gonna be a, who is very important and crucial to the story and and yeah um uh I don't explain this I mean they um you know there's a new killer in the loose and uh, yeah that's I, I don't know how to explain this uh, uh um oh base oh yeah um said the uh, Pretty much tries to like like put the pieces the puzzle pieces together on her mother's death. Uh, yeah. Um. So you know, screw it. That's that's the best I can explain. It. And there's a reason why I can explain it. I'll I'll, I'll get to it back there later. So um, yeah, Scream Three. Uh, this is some um, the 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 Scream movie that people uh, unanimously agree is terrible. Not actually not really unanimously because uh. There are there are people who actually defend this movie, and if you defend this movie, more power to you. But um, yeah, I mean, this is the one movie that people were disappointed about. This is the one that poorly, like poorly received the screen movie, or I should say mix. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, there are people who hate the the, the new screen movie, like the, like, who, there are people who hated the recent screen movies, like you know, Scream Five. Uh, not sure about Scream Six, uh, but I, like. I only saw like two bad reviews so far, and a bunch of comments saying that movie's gonna suck. Like, but um, it, it, I mean, but based on like overall con general consensus, this is the only screen movie that people um actively dislike, and probably the only um one that got a rotten score. Even though Scream Four almost did get a rotten, it was only at 60 percent. Uh, this one almost did, and yeah um. And yeah, so it, it I mean this is the one I was definitely least, least excited to watch. Uh, not because of the bad reviews, but because of the writer. Um Aaron Kruger. Oh my god. Now I'm a little more forgiving to Aaron Kruger after um what he did with Top Gun Maverick now. Now I, I don't think he um he um did contribute much to the film. I I mean I feel like the only contribution Aaron Kruger did is not ruin Top Gun Maverick. I mean, um, you can probably easily guess that he he barely did anything. He, uh, script or rather he was like, like he was not in, not in control at all. Um, so, I mean, he was in control. Like I don't know how to say it, but, I mean, I'm I'm gonna say you can tell he he didn't do anything to, to ruin Top Gun Maverick to make it bad. But, I mean, I'm happy for Aaron Kruger getting an Oscar nomination. Come on, um, it's not. It's not a crime to nominate him. Yeah, I'm talking to you, uh, black hair guy. It's not a crime to uh, to um, nominate Aaron Kruger for the Oscars. I mean, Tom Dan Maverick was amazing, and everyone deserves to be credited. Uh, he, he, um, even though worse of the writers like Aaron Kruger, I mean, I'm glad he did something good. But um, yeah, Scream Theory. I will say it is definitely one of his better movies, especially if you uh look at his track record. Um, Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon is actually pretty tolerable. It, it, it's pretty tolerable actually, uh, but still not very good. Um, Dark of the Moon. Um, Age of Extinction. Dumbo. Ghost 20. Ghost in the Shell 2017. The Ring, which I, I don't think I've seen. I, um, but yeah, um, based on his track record, um, yeah, he's been a terrible director and only made one good film, like, film that I love, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so now the question is, does Scream 3 deserve the hate? Um, yes and no at the same time. Uh, what I mean by that, well, the movie is not good, but at the same time, I think it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I mean, well, at least at the time, people would would massively hate this movie, would hate this movie so much, but now they're saying it's, it's actually, 
a, a little better. I'm a little, like they're a little more forgiving, but it's still they still don't like it that much. And yeah, it's really not very good. I was willing to give willing to give this movie a chance uh, since even the first time I I never liked this movie to begin with, but um, even giving it a chance now, unfortunately, I think this movie might have gotten a tad bit worse than than, than I imagined. Um, yeah, um, this, yeah. I mean, there's so much. Uh, now I will say this: this is not a god awful movie. This movie is not bad. I mean, definitely not as bad as a black critic guy said this, but. I mean, Black Eyed Guy's critic guy is right when he said he, Aaron Kruger did the uh, ruin um, ru ruin the screen franchise because I mean you um you guys have you can see some effort put into it with you know with Wes Craven's directing and the cast I mean they were all trying to do their points but Aaron Kruger's script man my God his script in this movie was absolutely terrible um like I mean. I couldn't notice. I, I couldn't even like explain the plot very well. You know why? Cause this movie is absolutely confusing. Like it's so convoluted. It's so messy. It's so um all over the place. Like there's so many ideas and wants to juggle. Like it wants to be about you know movie making. Like like to to show us you know the production of stamp. It wants to like be about another ghost face kill. It wants to be about you know Sydney trying to like like. This, uh, like put the, the puzzle pieces together when it comes to like finding out the truth about her mother's death death and you know all the other stuff and it's just messy i mean aaron kruger is just trying to um throw like so many things together and it, it like he like aaron kruger is trying to like throw in like so many ideas and, and it, it just doesn't work um yeah it just doesn't work um yeah i mean this movie genuinely just keeps getting worse the more i think about it i mean um, there's the more I think about it. Actually, I think this is a legitimate band movie. The more, uh, the more I think about it, uh, but yeah, um, but where was I? Um, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. I mean, Aaron Kruger, and plus, what's worse is that you you can tell that he doesn't understand Scream. Like, he clearly doesn't get it. Um, yeah, this move. I mean, yeah, it, it just makes no sense. I mean, also the movie tries to experiment on so many things. There's so many really stupid ideas, like like they're so stupid and, and, and you can clearly tell like the movie isn't even self-aware. Uh like it it tries way to do meta, like do a commentary on you know franchise like trilogy fin conclusions to the trilogy, but it, it doesn't feel self-aware, it doesn't feel like it, it knows what it's trying to do and and yeah, it's just and also um Ghostface uh uh clip Ghostface, you know, changing his voice, like, you know, um, I'm sure, like, this is the one that everyone talks about the most, the fact that Ghostface has the ability to change his voice, um, to disguise himself as, you know, like, to, to accuse someone else of, uh, being a killer, but it, it isn't, it's more than paper, but the way they use it in the movie, it's really dumb, I mean, I mean, plus, I'm actually glad that the franchise tries to forget about that, because it just makes, it's just stupid, and, and and kind of like goes off the rails of like you know scream like it goes off the rails. It's just like mass killer or with, with with just one voice and everyone trying to figure out what that is. But yeah, oh my god, like it's so stupid. Uh, like um, and yeah um, what else was there to say? Um, yeah, it's messy. Um, oh yeah, now let's talk about the worst character in the movie. And that is Roman Bridger. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Roman Bridger is one of the worst villains I have ever seen in my life, period. I mean, he is just awful. Like, there is nothing good about him. I mean, he's not even a good character as a good guy. I mean, he's just such a blinded one note character. But then when he's many. When he's revealed to be the killer, I mean, yeah, sure, he is the killer, but like, what is his motive? Oh my god, his character writing is the, the main reason why I hate this film, it's cause of his motives. Oh my goodness, so, so first of all, um, he's Sydney's so-called half-brother, well, the, the, I mean, the, the franchise hasn't even like said anything about you no know, Sydney having a brother, I mean, he, he, he didn't even know that, she didn't even know that, that Roman was his brother, and like, it was so thrown in, like, and also the fact, you know, that he's like, you know, explaining um, about his uh, 
mother and I, I, I don't even care about her like what like oh like I mean so he explains about his mother but in the truth I think um he has um I, I think her mother has like a, a, a different identity for like the, this the movie and I mean it's it's so confusing I I, I don't even care um oh my god like where do I start with this um and also the fact that he was actually the one behind uh, Sydney's mother's uh, killing the whole time, like, like he was actually the one who uh, sent who made Billy um be like kill her. That is like contradicting uh, what the first movie has established. That literally contradicts um, um contradicts uh Billy's motivation. But, like he he. He was really the one who wanted. He was really the one killing Sadie's mother, and had a reason. He wasn't just sent by Roman Bridger. I mean, did Aaron Kruger just watch the? Did Aaron Kruger watch the first Scream movie? Um, no, I I, I doubt it because uh, I mean they, he wouldn't have made some like a, a contradiction as like as bad as this. My God, um, I don't know what else to say. But um, yeah, um. Okay, well, there are definitely some good things about this film as well. Some redeeming qualities to it. Uh, um, some qualities to it. I, um, where do I start with this? First of all, I, I, I will say this movie is not boring. Like, not very boring. Yeah, sure, there's definitely some boring scenes. Scenes that maybe, like, you know, like, you know lose attention. Um, and, and only, um, got attention when I knew something bad. Like, my attention came back to the movie where when I knew something bad was going to happen. Like, it was going to happen. Um, the kills are really good as well. There's a bit more kills than the second one, and I think they're a lot more, a lot gorier as well. And I mean, there were times when I actually got scared, like you know, when Sydney's uh, mother was you know calling out to her, and as part of um, Sydney's imagination, and then Ghostface just jumped right into her. Um, that was a good jump scare. And also, um, it was a good jump scare. Um, and also the final battle is well is really fun despite despite a really stupid motivation that made, that pissed me off. Uh, I mean it was still like the fight was so fun like you can you can deny that. Um, um, the main three characters of course no denying that they're likable characters. Um, yeah, Sydney is um really good. Um, uh, it's still good now. Yeah, sadly though she was a little sidelined, but I mean she had a really solid arc. Yeah, sure. Um, her, you know, Sydney, you know, um, like you know, her arc about you know her trying to deal with her mother's death and, and uh, like you know talking about it. That's a little repetitive from the first screen, but she did have a nice little wrap up. Uh, and she, she, um, she had a nice some um, wrap up in the end. Although even though her character continues, um, I mean, yeah, sure. Even though Sydney's not gonna be in Scream Six, I heard people say that you know they actually did have a good reason as to why. Uh, Sydney is no longer in Scream Six, uh, and like I from what I heard, and they did a good job of uh, not trying to ruin her character and and still trying to message her. Um, I mean, the, mention her. I mean, not message my bad. Um, Gail and Dewey are solid characters. They, they pretty much got the focus throughout it. It's about them trying to investigate Ghostface. Uh, now, um, I will say about Gail. I think this might be my least favorite. Uh, Gail, um, like version of Gail. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm okay with Gail. I think she's okay, but, I mean, I mean, she's a solid character. But what's with her look? What's with her hair? Oh my goodness! I mean, I mean, whoever. I, I mean, I'm sorry if I sound heartless, but whoever um worked in the makeup for Gail, seriously, like, like you need to do better. Like you need to get like I don't want to say I was gonna say fired, but I don't know if I want to say it out loud. Because I, because I know it will sound hardest, but whoever um gave Gail that makeup, I'm sorry, but wh what what are you doing? Um. But anyway, uh, Gail and Dewey they have really good chemistry. Um, I mean, I'm okay with them being the focus. Um, yeah, I mean, for the, for the longest time I said Gail was better than Dewey, but now I think Dewey's better. I just really love Dewey. He's the best m m male in the movie. Even though Scream is pretty much born boring with amazing female characters. Do is easily the best male in the movie. Um, and um, what else is there? Um, the soundtrack is really good. I think it's kind of. I think this has the best um, like music in the franchise. Unless if you count the fifth screen screen movie, this one probably has the best uh, music. I mean, best opening logo as well. 
Um, it has the best opening logo. And like usual, um, just like usual, the opening scene is the best part. I think the opening scene was pretty solid. Despite the um, voice change, the dumb voice change, uh, and a really good opening scene. Um, so overall, Scream, Scream 3 is a bad movie. Uh, like, and it gets worse the more I think about it. Yeah, sure, there's some pretty entertaining stuff to it. There's some really great kills. Um, the, the three main characters are, are pretty solid for the most part. Despite Gail's uh, looking pretty bad, the, I, I want to like, hate her character over her, her not, not looking good. Um, and, and and also, like some, a banger music and a, and a banger opening, but... I mean, it, it's no excuse uh, that that uh, it's no excuse excuse um because Aaron Kruger gave like like such a piss poor script, a horrible script. Like, I mean, with um, an irredeemable villain, like a villain with no redeeming qualities. But, I mean, I said like the quality of the character, not the character, like the person himself. Um, like one of the worst villains ever. Um. And a, a plot that's just so confusing, it's so hard to follow, I just don't care what's going on. I mean, despite some entertaining and like, brain off scenes, uh, yeah, this movie, yeah, it just made no sense. And, yeah, um, and I think this movie kind of deserves the hate now, the more I think about it. And 41% of Rotten Tomatoes, I absolutely agree with you, and yeah. So with that said, I'm gonna give Scream 3 a 4 out of 10. Was I originally gave, I gave it a five out of ten on Letterboxd, but the more I think about it, the more it just gets worse. Uh, yeah, thankfully this is the only bad Scream movie. So also for my review of Scream Three, what is your opinion on this movie? Do you agree with me that, that this movie is bad, or uh, do you think that this movie is, uh, do, or do you think this movie is underrated? Oh yeah, and also just a heads up, I reviewed this and Scream to back to back, so um, that's why I uploaded them like you know like a, a few minutes apart but if you're wondering so yeah stay tuned for my review of scream 4 the final scream movie review leading up to scream 5 uh no scream 6 i mean scream 5 already did a review of uh, so yeah bye guys